Well, I'm 26 years old. Uh, my name is Christine Robinson and I'm a Peace Corps volunteer and I'm from the United States. I was happy that most the people were nicer than I thought they might be. I thought because I looked very different then people may not uh, treat me that well, but everyone's very nice so I'm happy. I don't drink, but I like Supras because of the toasts. So I think it's very cool, all the different toasts and that there's like a specific order to everything that I don't know the order, but you know, like toast to God and then toast to country and toast to friendship. And this, this kind of is very cool. Um, I'm not a good public speaker, so I think I'll learn how to be a better public speaker because of toasting. I like Georgian language a lot. Uh, it's really cool, uh, complex. I'm gonna take Georgian dance lessons. I'm gonna take that so that I love Georgian dance. That's a really cool tradition. And I'm kind of shocked that, um, shocked and happy that Georgian people still know Georgian dance. Because a lot of places, it seems like a lot of places don't pay attention to their tradition so much. So I think it's cool that Georgians do. So I think similarities, I can see, um, I've talked to a lot of Georgian people about traveling and they seem to be very, um, for the most part, they like staying here. Uh, so either Georgian people like traveling super far away, like, I don't know, Europe or America, or they like to stay um, like where they come from, you know? So like if you ask them if they've been to Azerbaijan or Armenia, even though it's right down the street, they say, no, I like, why should I go there, you know? So I think this is a similarity. Um, so in my family, I'm the only one who likes to travel. Uh, my sister, won't even leave our state. <laughs> she refuses to leave, so uh, I guess people are comfortable where they are. I think that's a big similarity. Um, they're also proud of where they come from. I think most Americans are very proud of where they come from. Um, differences? Americans are very uh, obsessed with time. A very, very obsessed with time. So, and it, everything's about being on time and being punctual and not be, um, but they don't care so much about relationships. So I think that's a big difference, but I'm, I'm starting to like the Georgian way of doing things a little bit more. I have some issues when I walk uh, in public with the, um, I don't know, with men, they're a little bit too uh, aggressive. <laughs> so yeah, and I think it's because I look different. So people are like always like, Zangi, this thing. I don't like this, so I wish they would just say my name or maybe come talk to me or something like this. But people stare too much, do you know? Like so. But what about Georgian men? I uh, the only interaction I get with them is on the street, and it's not good. <laughs> it's not good interaction. But um, when I um, when I meet when I meet Georgian people in their houses, like people's brothers and cousins, it's very it's nice. It's fine. They're polite and it's okay. But on the street, not not good at all. My opinion about the USA. Um, I we were just I was just talking about this with my host mother. I think um, the United States is a good place for working. Right now our economy is not that good, so even we're having very difficult, people my, well, our age are having a very difficult time finding jobs. So like you, you will find that even if you have a master's degree, you end up working in a restaurant, which is not ideal, you know? Um, but I think as far as, uh, have you heard of work-life balance? This, this concept of like um, how much you work and how much you play outside of work and how much you interact with your family. I think Americans don't have a good work-life balance. So um, it's good to go to America and, and work hard and save money, but when it comes to like raising kids or enjoying life or having fun, then you, uh, America's not a good place to live. So it's good for just when you're young and you work hard and then when you're older, it's not good at all. I went to, uh, one of my friends needed to get money from the bank. So I went with her, she's Georgian, and we went to uh, like Liberty Bank. And there were like, it felt like thousands of people, but maybe there's only like uh, 50 people in the bank. And there's no line. So she's like, like, Vinaris Bolo. I was like, what is this? I don't know what's going on in the bank. There's no line. And then when she finally got to the bank, 
um, the bank teller, everyone was looking at how much money she takes out, and it was so strange. And so I, I thought, like, Georgia must be a very safe country because, uh, I mean, in America you would never, you're not allowed to get that close to people, and you can't hear, um, you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to ask about people's salaries and how much they make and how much money they have. It's inappropriate, you know? So I thought, I said like, oh, Gavansa, you don't have, there's no thieves in Georgia? You don't have, th she's like, oh, not in the bank. But in America, you would, as soon as you get your money, you put it away, hide it, and walk out, so. Advice to the nation? Wow, this is a difficult question. Um, uh, I think, if I had any advice, it would be maybe, even though it's really difficult um, to, to prog maybe progress economically here, you know, it's like a struggle to get jobs, maybe consider trying to pool your money together to open businesses. Um, so maybe that way you wouldn't have to apply to jobs, you could create your own. So it's very difficult to do, I know, but um, maybe that would make people happier and they wouldn't be so sad about applying to jobs and not getting them. All the people who work really, really hard and who are dedicated and want to make change, they get so frustrated that they leave the country and they never come back. And they just end up sending money back. And this doesn't help any, anyone progress, you know? So when you learn something in a different country, like you did about uh, this television station, you bring it back to Georgia and make Georgia better this way. So travel, but always come back. I would definitely recommend that American people come to Georgia. Um, so first for the scenery, like the natural beauty. I love mountains and the mountains here are gorgeous. I just came from Kazvegi and it's like amazing. I've never seen anything like that in my life. So that's cool. Um, also maybe a variety of um, scenery. So you can go to the beach or you can see snow, um, like desert-esque climate. Um, the cast there's castles all over the place, which is really cool. Uh, lots of churches, um, and if people are interested in history, this place um, has an amazing amount of history, and lots of people know it, which is cool, so you can ask anyone and they'll tell you. Um, of course, the people are nice, the food is good. Uh, if they like wine, if they drink, then they would really appreciate this place because of that. Um, and I think it's also in a really cool region of the world as well, so you can, you can get a little bit of everything here. Speak up about Georgia.